So if there have been any topics that have dominated the modern era of modern sport, that has definitely been the topic of VAR. Otherwise known as virtual assistant refereeing, it's something that has come into almost all forms of sport in many ways. I mean, we have it in rugby, we have it of course in the likes of tennis, and we've seen, you know, how technology has really evolved this, uh, you know, uh, modern era of sport. Um, and that has been no different in the GAA. Of course, we've seen the implementation of Hawkeye, um, you know, seven or eight years ago. And we've seen how that's been a huge success, um, you know, in Crow Park, especially, we're, you know, we, we instantly know now the right or wrong decision from the umpires when it comes to whether the ball went over the bar or not. We've seen how well it can be used, um, you know, in, in multiple ways, even in the likes of soccer as well when it comes to the ball crossing the line. But of course, in the GEA, um, we have to talk a lot about some of the, you know, very poor decisions lately in refereeing, in my opinion. Some poor refereeing decisions across um, both football and hurling in the past year and I think it's it's something that a lot of people have been discussing will the GEA implement a VAR system into both Gaelic football and hurling and that is the topic of today's video So I suppose first of all lads if we look at how VAR is currently being used in soccer of course um, obviously VAR has you know just come into its its use of course in, in soccer of course they used it in the World Cup quite briefly um, the 2018 World Cup but of course we have seen that VAR still has a lot of issues and a lot of different leagues are having their own ways of using it and not other than the Premier League of course because we have seen that although VAR has helped uh, identify a lot of issues, it's also made a lot of other issues quite present, and most notably, obviously, the offside rule where players' armpits and fucking, I don't know, all sorts are you know, being offside straight away. So VAR has been... It, but, you know, obviously, we're talking about a different sport here, and at a professional level, it's completely different. You know, you have five or six lads who are sitting around in a box somewhere. We don't even know where they are, by the way, but they're sitting around in a box watching this sport... Uh, watching this, uh, these football matches take place and ultimately they're making decisions that the referees have missed and that the linesmen have missed um, and they obviously have to make the call uh, after that and inform the referee of the correct decision. Now obviously if something like this was in place at GEA um, it would make it a very professional kind of sport and obviously GEA is not professional. I mean, I mean it's not a professional sport but there certainly are a lot of professional elements in the sport. That is a semi-professional sport. Um, and obviously the referees don't fully get paid. Um, a lot of referees get their expenses reimbursed to them. So say, for example, if a referee was refereeing in you know, the Leinster final, let's say, and he was from, I don't know, Leash, um, and it was Dublin versus Wexford, let's say, in the final, and he was from Leash, he would get uh, you know, his petrol paid for or his transport paid for him for coming up to Crow Park. He'd get his food paid for, but he actually wouldn't get a wage for refereeing that game. Now, that's as far as I'm aware from doing my own research. Feel free to correct me. I know that some uh, referees do get paid the odd time. You know, For example, in the All-Ireland Final, I believe a referee will get a paid rate. Um, and I know referees sometimes uh, do get paid. It's a, it's a, it's a tricky uh, subject, obviously. But, you know, the, the fact of the matter is, when it comes to VAR, you know, if you're going to have three or four referees in a box or whatever, or in, a, in their own sort of, uh, you know, wherever the fuck they do be, um, watching uh, some of these matches and making some of these decisions, it, it's not going to happen in GEA. You know, something like that won't happen because um, it's not like the GEA don't have the money to do it. I mean, they definitely do have the money to do it. I mean, there's, no, there's absolutely no doubt about it. And it's something they could definitely trial. But I mean, bringing in more referees uh, in a situation like that for a semi-professional sport would be a, a strange decision. Now, maybe what they can do, in my opinion, is they could have the referee have like a, a monitor. Now, we've seen this used in soccer. Um, we've seen this used in the World Cup and we've seen it used in... We, we haven't really seen it used in the Premier League, but we've seen it, I've seen it used in like the Italian League and the Spanish League at times. Um, and I know in uh, the MLS over in America, 
it is uh, it is used quite a bit. And basically, what it is, it's a monitor um, that the referee will will walk over to. It's a monitor on the side of the pitch. Um, and say, for example, if there was a you know red card situation or you know an offside situation, the referee would actually walk over to the side of the pitch. He would actually have a monitor, and he would actually be able to see. Um, that is, you know, the a replay of the action for himself. So he would actually be able to then make his own judgments uh, um, on the call and actually be able to see it for himself. Now that is definitely something they could do in both Gaelic football and hurling. You know, you think of a lot of the uh, refereeing decisions in the past couple of weeks. You had the David Clifford situation where clearly, I mean, he was the one that was brought down. But incredibly, the referee sent him off in that match versus Galway. It was a, an, an extraordinary decision. Um, it was a match. It was the match versus Tyrone, wasn't it? That was a, a crazy decision by the referee to send him off. Um, and obviously, we've seen situations where um, you know we, we've seen the situation at the weekend where Kieran McGeary was sent off for um, a shoulder challenge on Aidan Brannigan. Now, obviously, having looked back at that challenge, I can see why the referee did, maybe did give it a red. It did appear, he did appear to, to hit him in the jaw um, from the shoulder barge, but I don't think it was intentional. And I think that's where having a monitor on the side of the pitch where the referee could walk over um, and actually see, and he'd be able to see the different angles, he'd then be able to make a much better call, in my opinion, be able to say, okay, well, look, listen, that's not a red card, that's a yellow card, that's a, that's a black card. Um, and he would actually be able to, to you know, make those decisions off a much better judgment having that monitor on the side of the pitch. Now, obviously, the question will be, at what levels would this, if the GAA were to go with something like this, um, which I, I believe they really should, because certainly in hurling as well, there have been um, a lot of situations. I remember last year where there were situations where the ball, the slitter didn't cross the line and the referee would give a goal and, and vice versa. And there's been loads of situations in hurling because of how fast that sport moves. Um, there's even been the suggestion of two referees um, being placed at hurling, which I, I wouldn't be against either. I, I, I don't think that would be a bad idea either. Um, and you know, maybe in, in Gaelic football they could do that as well. Um, but I, I, I think the, the logical I still think the logical solution would be to have a you know a monitor on the side of the pitch where the referee could walk over. But getting back to what I was speaking about, what level would this be implemented in? And that would be. The big talking point obviously because I mean the GEA could trial something like this in Crow Park and they could do it maybe in like the All-Ireland final they could do it you know they could even do it in the league final testing out because the, the National League is some, somewhere where you can test these kind of things out rather than the All-Ireland final where it's the biggest game of the year and um, they could test these type of things out just to see if the referee you know makes the better decisions and, and see how it works um, but obviously, kind of moving forward, would, you know, say for example, when Monaghan are playing at Castle Blaney or Galway are playing at Toom or Salt Hill, would the monitors be there for the referees in those games? You know, would the monitors be available in games at Leitrim or, you know, Roscommon or, you know, Waterford, or, you know, in other counties outside of Dublin? That would be the, the sort of talking point there because obviously... Hawkeye, as far as I'm aware, is, is used at Crow Park and it is used in some stadiums around Ireland, but predominantly it's used in Crow Park, obviously because that's where all Ireland semi semi-finals take place and all Ireland finals take place. Um, but of course, if, if we're going to be talking about you know provincial championship finals, um, will those monitors be available? Because obviously if, if a big situation arose where a player was wrongly sent off and we actually had the technology available but chose not to use it, um, in a provincial final because it wasn't in Crow Park or one of the big stadiums in Ireland, it would cause uproar. It would cause uproar, absolutely no doubt about it. So, so yeah, lads, in my opinion, I, I do believe that you know a, a VAR system should be used in both Gaelic football and hurling. I think the GEA certainly have the money to do it. There's absolutely no doubt about it. They're one of the richest organisations in the world. So they can certainly, um, without doubt, um, you know, implement some sort of technology available to the referees to help them make the better decisions and, and improve the overall aspect of the game. 
Um, and it would just be better for the referees as well because you know the amount of abuse they get a lot of the time is uh, is very uh, it's very bad. You know, it's it's not it's not called upon some of the abuse that they get. So this would be a great way to really fix a lot of those issues. Um, do I think that the GEA will implement something like that? I mean, who knows? They they definitely might. As I said before, having a monitor on the, on, on the um, on the side of the pitch where a referee can walk over, have a quick look, you know, 30 or 40 seconds. Um, obviously, there would be some situations maybe where we'd have to obviously keep managers away and keep players away from getting, invo getting involved. Um, but I definitely think that's something that we could operate, we definitely could use. Um, of course, there are screens as well in Crow Park. Um, you know, big gigantic TV screen. So we could even use something like that. But obviously, I mean, the only kind of issue and problem with that would be that all the players, all the managers, and everyone in the stadium can see, which kind of puts the referee under, a, a, you know, a lot of pressure. Because obviously, if he still made the wrong decision, I mean, there would be uproar. Um, but yeah, I think that's definitely a way of, of, of fixing a lot of those issues. In terms of some of the other issues we've seen recently where... Um, you know, there's been some added on time that have been played, you know, extra minutes have been added on and I know in the Dublin Monaghan game a lot of Monaghan fans were frustrated with the fact that there was extra minutes added on more than there should be. I think there was six minutes and I think we ended up playing nine. And then in the uh I think Mead and was it Mead and Ke or Mead and Mayo, um the referee didn't add on any time when he should have. So it, it's kind of a a weird situation in regards to that. I think the the main fix for those kind of, that for that kind of problem would be just to do what they do in rugby and just have a you know a, kind of like a stop clock system where you know basically there's no uh, no out of time, there's no injury time. The the clock stops um, when a player goes down, and it would just get rid of time wasting because then players wouldn't go down, they wouldn't time waste, there'd be no points. So you just wait, you just be wasting your own time. So I think that would be a way of fixing that problem. But in terms of the VAR, um, it's probably a few years away. I think we need to have like a, a major, major problem uh, occur, which I hope doesn't happen uh, for the, the GEA to actually implement the VAR. And I'm talking about something in an All-Ireland Final where a referee sends a player off wrongly and that changes the outcome of the game or a situation where, like in the, the Mead-Loud game back in 2010 um, in the Leinster Final when the ball... Um, I, I can't entirely remember that situation, but I think was it the ball was it the Mead player? The ball didn't cross the line or something like that, or the ball or he threw it over the line or something like that in the Leinster final, and that was that was crazy. I mean, fans started running on the pitch. It was absolutely mental, and we do not want to see that again. So, so yeah, lads. Anyway, that's been some of my thoughts on implementing VAR into the GEA. Still, probably a few years away, but um, hopefully at some point uh, they do look at this and. Do you know adopt some sort of system but anyway lads that is going to be the end of the video if you do enjoy these type of videos uh, hit that like button hit that subscribe button let me know down in the comments below uh, what you think um, in terms of having a VAR system uh, implemented into the GEA do you or, or maybe you guys think that the GEA or the referees are fine maybe we need to get better referees maybe um, I don't know, who, who knows what needs to happen, but uh, certainly for me, I do think that some sort of system should be adopted. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Do have a great week, have a great weekend, and I will see you all for some match reactions this weekend. Goodbye!